Hello everyone, welcome back to another video, but today I'm just going to be showing you how to use my shake pack. Oh, and I think I forgot to mention that it's completely free, you can grab it in the description below. The only thing that you need is the Sapphire plugin installed, and once you have that ready, you're ready to import. So head over to presets over here, right click, import presets, find the folder after you've extracted it. So it should have a, uh, it's a Premiere Pro, is it PRFP? Uh, I don't know how to say that. Premiere file presets. I don't know what that means, but you just want to click, uh, double click or click on open. And there you go. It's right here. So just open up the presets. You'll see the uh, free airshake pack remastered edition. Open it up. You've got flashes, scales, you've got tilt, twitch, X, Y, and Z shakes. So first of all, uh, I'm just going to show you how to prepare your clip properly because sometimes when you apply the shake, there's these black lines around the edges. And the reason why that happens is because, well, you can't really see it, but there is a very thin line around the edges of the actual clip. Actually, well, it depends on the clip itself. I think this one is fine, but it might actually be scaled out. So for example, 99.5, that might make it a little more visible. Now you can see, so it might look something like this and you just need to get rid of that. So all you need to do is scale up your clip. So even if it looks fine and you're still getting those black borders around the edges, you just need to scale it up. So for example, mine's 100. I'm just going to put 0.5 at the end and that's going to scale it up very, very slightly. So before, after, the difference is very subtle. Keep in mind, I have not applied any shake yet. We're just preparing the clip. So next, what I'm going to do is right click on the clip and nest. OK, so if I now apply a preset, so let's go for a Twitch shake. Let's go for Twitch shake one. Perfect. I've got my shake. Awesome. Looks great. Now, sometimes uh, it doesn't work on adjustment layers. So if you have already made an adjustment layer, so for example, if I go to new item adjustment layer, OK, and place it on top and then add the shake. Where is it? Right here. Sometimes it might just not work. So it will be there. The effect will be on the adjustment layer, but it won't work. That's a glitch. So just apply it directly onto your clip. And also, I can't believe a lot of people make this mistake. I mean, it's fine if you're a beginner, but I just see it so often and it's like, where's my shake? It just stops like halfway. That's because you need to extend your adjustment layer. You can see it just cuts off here. So the shake hasn't finished. I believe they should be around, is it 10 or 15 frames long? I think 5, 10. Let's just try 10. You will see a keyframe at the end anyway. Ah, it's actually 15. Let me just extend it a little bit more. Oh, it's, is it there? There you go. It's right there. So this is how it looks. Perfect. But the thing is, I'm using a sequence that is 30 frames per second. Let's say I wanted to use this on something that's Let's start with 60. Then I'll show you how to use it on something like 24 or even 15. So what I'm going to do is just change my time base to 60. Hopefully that won't mess anything up. I don't know if the adjustment layer needs replacing because, you know, I made it and it's 30 FPS. I don't think it makes a difference. So I'm just going to leave it as that. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. You can see it's doubled because we've doubled the frame rate. So let's just apply it, see how it turned out. OK, not bad, but you can see it looks a bit too soft. That is the issue of using a higher frame rate, whether that's for one framers or even shakes, transitions, doesn't matter. Nothing really looks that good unless it's a zoom in or out transition. So what's the problem? Well, it doesn't, I don't, I don't feel much impact. So to fix this, what you could do, it's not really a fix, but rather a suggestion is you could turn up the frequency, which works as the strength. So let's go for something like eight. Let's try eight. Not really a big jump, but it does something. It makes it bounce a little harder. Let's go for 12 instead. Okay, that looks better. Maybe something in between. Let's go for something like 10 instead. Looks perfect. Yeah, I think that's the solution. So if it feels too soft, so if it looks different to the one on the trailer, then just increase the frequency and you should be good to go. Now, with a low frame rate, so let me just get rid of this for now. Let's change it to, let's go for 24. I believe for this, I think 10 frames should be more than enough for the adjustment layer. So I'm just going to cut it down to 10 frames. Add on a Twitch shake. Um, I don't know if this is going to work well. Let me just check. Actually, I think it might have to be five frames longer. I don't know. I haven't really tested it on 24. Yeah, it's a very uneven number. So, well, it's not really uneven, but it's 12 frames long instead of 15 for 30 FPS and 30 for 60 FPS. So just cut it down to the length it is. So 12 frames. There you go. Let's see how this looks. I'm just going to push it ahead just by one frame. OK, not bad. I was expecting it to look a little bit worse, but hey, it's fine. Now, one issue is that it might look really blurry, which is not really a problem for something like 30 FPS, but it's way more noticeable 
on something like 24 or even 15. So you can, you know, feel free to just turn down the motion blur length. Let's go for something like 3.5. I think it's just nicer to look at. So before you can see there is more blur. Then after it kind of clears it up. Uh, yeah, that's really it. Oh, and don't forget to finish it off with, where is it? Where is it? Flashes and scales. So you can add these onto the same adjustment layer or your clip directly. So I'm going to add flash one onto the adjustment layer and also the scale out. Let's add this one. So this is the result. Amazing. It almost looks like those impact shakes. Looks really good. It's amazing how a simple flash can change everything. If you like these free packs and you want to support me even further, then consider becoming a member. Early access, monthly project files, and I think that's it really. Oh, and also you get an automatic message from me. Isn't that amazing? Oh crap, it's already faded out. Okay, uh, thank you for watching. Bye.